Picked up my mom from the nursing home for lunch. <laughs> oh my goodness, how much Good morning, guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Dog Dog Dad. So I just got to Joey's. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I'm actually meeting the first potential parent of one of the puppies. They want to see the boys. This is somebody who I vetted. It's a friend of a friend, so I know a little bit about them. This potential parent in question loves hiking, is always outdoors, literally hiking every single weekend, and that's just really important. I really want all these dogs to have an active home because a lot of people say that they hike, they say that they're active on these applications, but when I do a little cross check and check their social media, I don't see nothing. I see you in the club, girl, every weekend. What's the tea, mama? So what is the truth? You know what I mean? It's not the vibe. And if it's your vibe, that's totally fine. I respect it. I understand it. But it's not my vibe. And it's not the vibe that these puppies are gonna, I'm gonna allow these puppies to live in. I just want them to go into homes that are like the ones that they're coming from, which is like mine. Or just families, and because they are a family dog, you know, outdoorsy family, take them on walks and everything. Yeah, it's very important. So let's go check on the pups. Gonna clean a little bit and get ready for the first potential paw rinse. It's the paw rent trap. Looking at them through the window and it looks Also, please, can we take a moment and just, just take it all in. Take in the beauty that is me, because this week, this is my birthday week, and I swear you're 10 times more gorgeous than you normally are on your birthday week. I'm very excited about that. It's a big birthday for me as well. The skin, so I have like red irritation here. It's from years of having dermatitis and psoriasis. It affects like this area and my temples and my scalp. So I need to get lasers done, but right now they're really expensive. It's like laser therapy. They go and they zap the blood vessels, but I use this product called Fenty Ease Drops, I think, and it just makes me glowing. It's not foundation or anything, nothing heavy. It's just like a tinted moisturizer. I put that in with my moisturizer and it's fabulous. I will link that down below. I also use the deep bronzy sunshine drops from Drunk Elephant with my moisturizer as well and chef's kiss. Also tan lux. I use this tan lux spray, just like a couple sprays in the morning, like every once every four or five days and it keeps me so stunning and gorgeous. Aren't I humble? All right, let's go feed the dogs. Very good. I switched them over from this pen because I'm cleaning it out into this pen, which I kept clean last night. And that's deeming it very, very great. I'm gonna give them some water. Hey Google, turn the music off. Ooh. Very, very good kids. That's right, you go on the grate if you need to go to the bathroom. Out here I have the hose and I'm hosing off the grate. It's a filthy job, but somebody's got to do it right, don't you know what I mean? And then we're gonna close these ones off as well. Organic matter. And then the pads were so full, literally like diapers, so I threw those in this trash bag. All right, everybody's clean, fed, pooped, peed. They're playing a little bit, they're wearing themselves out. The boys are over here, the girls are over here, and they're interested in the boys, so. I thought I'd separate them. Everyone's been deodorized. I've been using this brand Earth Bath. I got it at the pet store, but I really like it. I use this vanilla and almond, and the mango tango is gorgeous. I'll link this down below as well. So the person coming now is this really cute gay couple. I'm so excited about that. And then at 10, I have another gal, Rachel, who I'm friendly with. She's coming and she kind of lives near me. So it'll be nice to potentially have somebody literally in the same town as me. It'll be really nice. Okay, quick little break to talk about Feet. You guys have been in my DMs on Instagram asking me where this hoodie is from. So it is from Feet. It's so comfortable. It feels like you're wrapped up in a blanket. It's so nice and warm. This is the crew neck in the new olive green color. I have the zip up, also in the olive green color that they just sent over, and then the sweats, which I'm really excited to try. They look so 
so comfortable. But Feet actually gave me a code, Prada50 at checkout. You guys can get 50% off your order, get all your shopping for the holidays done. So definitely check them out. They have sets for everybody and they're so comfortable. I've been living in their clothes, I'm obsessed. So definitely check out Feet and use code Prada50 at checkout and get 50% off your order. They're so cute, comfortable, great quality, and would make a great gift. Hi guys, so I'm on the road now. The meet with the parents went wonderful. I think they're both gonna be wonderful parents. They both want boys. My friend Rachel really bonded with Woods and Huckleberry, so I think she's gonna decide. I have a few other people coming next week, but it went really well. It's so nice to find people that I genuinely like and connect with, and I know will be great parents, and we'll be connected forever in a little, little way you know hopefully we'll be able to see them as they get older and have play dates and everything so it'll be really cute right now I am heading to do the final walkthrough of my new house here in LA if you guys don't know I am moving this is the worst time to move around the holidays but I need to go do a walkthrough with my agent and just make sure that everything's gonna be ready for closing. I'm really excited. So the place I'm currently in now will become a rental. Maybe I'll link it down below because it'll be available for rent. I don't know if it'll be on Airbnb or Verbo or whatever, but decide when the time comes. But yeah, I just, I think it was time for me to be in a place that's bigger and somewhere I can set up roots. Maybe I'll have a roommate, I'm not sure. I think I might. One of my friends is looking for a room. It's small, it's cute, it's cozy. I cannot wait to show it to you. I mean, it's not small. It's it's a two level home and it has like a yard and it's in the hills, but it's actually near the Hollywood sign nestled up in the canyon. And it's just so darling. It's kind of like a more grown up version of the place that I have currently. Just like a little more mature, has more rooms, bigger kitchen, bigger bathrooms, because I only have one bathroom right now. And my mom will actually be moving into her own place, which is really exciting for her. We've been together for a long time, and before she's with me, she was with me and Joey in our house, Joey and I in our house. So she's looking at places as well. She has Lark, and she will take Lark with her, and I will have Storm, Monty, and Wolf, because I'm taking Wolf. But I'm gonna go do a walkthrough. I don't know if I'll take you guys along, but I will show you guys that in the future. I'll check back in a little bit. It's a little bit later, we just had dinner. Picked up my mom from the nursing home for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you can swear on this channel. Yeah. I'm no nursing go. home yet. Soon. Never. I'm gonna put her in the backyard. 2023 down. is your year. <laughs> Joey's gonna put her in the backyard. Up, the tied up with a leash. Now we just had dinner with mom and I got some luxury goods for the puppies, which are these really cute little Christmas toys and a luxury purse haul, this Chewy Vuitton bag for my daughter. Take it, good girl. And then I got a mini for whichever one I connected more with. Here we go, another change Yara topic. Today. Oh, she's look, a, she's, she's going girl. shopping. Oh, oh my god, that's gorgeous. Oh my god. That that bag is staying in my house because I know she won't look rip at it. That. She is. She is. No, she says that's my luxury bag. <laughs> Don't <laughs> rip it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they stole my bag. Ooh, it's like white chicks. Mom, that's the dog that attacked your dog. <laughs> Go away. I'm here to show you. I know, you mother <laughs> Bad spirit. Woo! You want a little purse homosexual? <laughs> you can't have it. Look at the teeth, Mom. He's exactly mom. the father. Look. No, Joey, please. Oh my goodness. That's very bad. That's very bad. Oh my, oh my god, god, look at the bottom teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> look, he's coming for you. She put her hand in his mouth. <laughs> look at her purse. She loves it. She loves it. Oh, Wolfie, you want a little purse? Oh, you know what? Storm could have the white purse. Look how cute this one. Little sissy boy. Oh, oh my God. He said thank you. I'll eat it later. So I got little penguins. I got a new shampoo. This is a little puppy spritz and some new wipes and another purse. This one's for me. And you're just sitting there. You don't even want to use it. Give it back to me. No, we're gonna take this home. This will be for the puppies. We'll save these for when they're turned 16. That's gorgeous. She's like, where's the money? Yeah, she's. Where's my she debit has card? Some... Daddy, I want my cash. Oh, beast. She likes it. She loves it. Oh, cutie. She's like, oh, look what I have. I got the bag. Oh, oh wow. Look at the 
That's gorgeous. No, stop, because she's gonna look for it now. <laughs> look at that little pea head. It's literally a pea brain. There's not a lot going on in there. <gasps> oh, man. A little bit down. A little bit. A little bit not too smart. <laughs> All right, now you gotta throw it for her. The gorgeous bag. It's a good girl. Hey, Maria, we're gonna have you meet the puppies. What's the IQ on this? Yeah. Okay, let's the see. IQ on this one is not very high. Single it's digits. It's not very whatever. Yeah, mom's gonna meet the puppies. Oh my goodness! How much? Sh Like. All right, so are these still the boys? Yeah. These are the boys. These are all the boys? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. You can pick one up. See which one. Let me see. Like maybe this. Come here, bro. <laughs> He's scratching me. No. Where is the blue? He's right in front of you. This, this. Here, sit in a chair like you're back in the nursing home. <laughs> Yes, it's Santa Claus is, what is posing. This one? Who's this? What is going on outside? There's like a. Is the police? Yeah, they're here for you. They're coming to bring you back to the nursing home. <laughs> Who is this one? His name is Timber. Hi, Timber. Isn't he so sweet? Are they, they are not blind. They're huh? blind. They're still blind? Oh, no, no, they're not blind. Triggered. Oh, look at the pink one. Oh my gosh, Joey, seeing this on camera is so shocking. What? There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, kiss, 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 kiss. So when we were together, my mom lived here. She actually stayed in the room, if you guys remember. We had the husky pack. Yeah. And we, she slept in the same room as the puppies <laughs> for months. months. Did you yes. love it? Did it make you happy? Uh, no, I'm traumatized. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. Look what this one had eaten. Aren't they so sweet? Yeah. It's this good for her. This is what I'm doing all night, like crying like that. <laughs> and I was a classical music, and then you fall asleep. Yeah. And I like, say it. I love music. Say it. I love music. They love music. No, you have to say it. I love music. I love music. I love classical music. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Do you know why the helicopter's going around? Because there's a pervert on the loose. Close the doors. <laughs> They're coming for you. The communist country of Romania is coming to bring you back in chains. <laughs> but you know, they can come and steal the puppies. Yes, the puppy nappers are here. Well, my mom, if they lick, if Monty licks the wieners, they're Don't gonna. Lick the <laughs> oh, go away! <laughs> they're gonna piss all over you. <laughs> Take it away! Don't lick it. Please. Here, do you want this? It was sitting in their pen with poop on it. <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> Look how Monty is just staying like a proud mother. She's a mama queen. Oh, and then, of course, I have Aspen here, needy, on my lap. This is what she does. I think I need to keep her, Joey. Look, no. she wants to crawl inside yeah, of me. I, I what know. do you think? Do you want her? And the mama, what do you want, Mama? Girls. They're fighting, Mom. Mama, I don't like it. Ah, 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 ah. Get Look, sit down, you. She starts it. Yeah. Yeah. She wants to play, but the yeah. that one, uh, get away from her. Hey, 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 hey. Leave the mother alone. And you, bitch, go away. <laughs> She's now, she has no more kids. Her breast starts coming back to normal and she's like, okay, let me go and pull it on a little bit. It's Christmas time. She's got her purse. No, she's getting spayed next month. Okay, adios, sex mama. Um, <laughs> welcome to menopause. <laughs> Monty, can Join you say the menopause? Club, Join the club, it's dry. Join the club. <laughs> They're dried up and soon you will dried be too. Up. Look how oh sweet Timber is. Oh, beans. Huck is so sweet. You guys are just chewing my pants off. Hello. Good morning, guys. It's my birthday. Oh my gosh. This is a big birthday for me. 
I'm 16 years old, can you believe it? No, it is a big birthday for me. It's a milestone in life, but honestly, it just kind of feels like another day. I feel like you get to a certain point in life and you're like, huh. I th honestly, I think it's COVID. I think COVID got me, got me, y'all. But I'm such an experienced person, like I mentioned in my other video, that if I'm not doing something, I'm just like, okay, I'd rather be working, I'd rather be like doing stuff around the house or errands or, you know, around the holidays. December birthdays, it, please, if you're with me, shout out in the comments. They're low key the worst because this is the busiest month. Everybody's crazy because it's the end of the holidays, especially this close to Christmas. I feel bad for the people who are next week birthdays, like 20th to the 24th. You guys get gypped. I feel like the best holiday birthday would be Halloween because I don't know, you get to like dress up and you'd get gifts and people still have money because it's before the holidays and before Thanksgiving and everything. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of just vibing today. Unfortunately, my trip to Yosemite got canceled. They had a really big snowstorm. And where I was staying is this place called Auto Camp, which is like really cute vintage Airstreams. And they have a few locations around the US. And I love an Airstream. I've never actually stayed in one. I've seen them before, but they're gorgeous. My friend Kyle Krieger on his channel over the past year has totally like remodeled one and it's like inspired me. Like now I want one. But um, they were like, yeah, we had a big snowstorm and you need snow tires and snow chains. And I didn't have time to get new tires and I need new tires and new brake pads on my car and an oil change. Jesus, I feel like the gays just really just lack on their car and maintenance. So I'm kind of just vibing. I'm doing the things that I love. I'm going to take care of the puppies this morning. It is bright and early, so I'm heading there now. And then I'm gonna go to Malibu. I have Storm, Wolf, and Monty in the car with me and we're gonna go walk on the beach and get a coffee maybe do a little shopping up in Malibu Creek, which is my favorite little shopping area. I have some returns to make, might get dinner. I don't know, I'm kind of just like, I want this day for myself. I think I'm just like, if I'm not doing exactly what I want, I'd rather just be like doing what I need to do, you know what I mean? But I'm in a great mood, I'm happy, and I love like my me time. I'm a lone wolf, so let's go take care of the puppies and then head to Malibu. All right, let's go. Good morning, everyone. So I changed out their pen. And I put them in the clean one. Just fed them their eating, gave them some water. Wash these outside. I'm gonna put up, set up their nude pen, but what we're doing is we're gonna keep one empty and we're gonna keep one full. So that way when this one's dirty, they can go in a clean one. Then this can be cleaned out and then back and forth. And then I found this little tote bag, so cute. Cause it's my birthday, Joey put this together. He's never done that before. Very, very sweet. Very thoughtful, I love this blanket. All right, just finished everything up. I got to Malibu, got to my favorite cafe, but I wanted to unbox this little tote bag. First of all, I love this tote bag, but I know he re-gifted this from a Cosmo event, but I love that because I told him I thought it was cute a while ago and he gifted it to me. And you guys, you know I love a tote bag. I love a tote bag, I love a market bag, I love a blanket. Boy, boys and girls, silence! All right, what do we got in here? Pop chips, gorgeous. Skinny dipped almonds with peanut butter, gorgeous. So he got me this because I was supposed to go on my road trip and then it got canceled. Grass fed beef jerky with mango habanero, love. Love a good meat stick. Ooh, Boulder Canyon chips, malt vinegar and sea salt. Again, my favorite, very sweet. Then we got peanut butter, peanut M&Ms, which are the superior M&Ms, I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna kill him for getting me all these. I haven't had these in so long. Starbursts, I prefer the pink ones and the cherry ones. Sour Skittles, and I, I, these better have lime green in them. Yes, they brought back the lime. They changed it to apple for a little bit, and that was a disgusting choice. My younger, fat, little fat boy is crying right now. These were so divine. And nerds, I know these are his favorite, the nerds like ropes, he loves them, but I like them too. And a cute little blanket from Sackcloth and Ashes. For every blanket purchase, we give a blanket to your local homeless shelter. That's really cute, but I bet they're lying. But if they are doing that, that's very sweet. This is gorgeous. Love a blanket. Where's the cash? Where's the cash? Oh, a little travel tote bag. I know this came with the tote bag from the event, but it has a bunch of goodies in it. Very cute. Have some hair care in here, lip balm, hairspray. I'll keep this in my car, adorable. I hoard these types of bags, toiletry bags and toiletry kits. I don't know why I love them so much. And a little card. Shall we read this card together? I think we shall. In dog years, you're dead. 
that got me good. One thing about Joey is he always writes the same thing in every card. So I'm very curious to see if this says the same thing. Usually when we were dating, it would say, happy birthday, Daniel. I love you so much. You're the best boyfriend in the world. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Something like that, every single card. Simple, standard to the point. He wasn't digging deep, but it was, you know, he was doing his best. It was, it was sweet. It was almost like charming in a way that every single card said the same thing. So let's see if this one says anything different, which I'm assuming it would since we're no longer in a relationship. Happy birthday, Daniel. I put together a little road trip care package for you. I hope you have, you're gonna hit my car, bitch. That's right. Sorry, you, you see the inner Sagittarius jumping out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me start over after I was so rudely interrupted. Happy birthday, Daniel. I put together a little road trip care package for you. I hope you have an incredible day. You pour so much love into everything you do and those in your life. Very thankful to still have you a part of mine. It's still my job to annoy you after all. I know you have a sweet tooth, so don't eat it all in one sitting. XOXO Joey. Written in true chicken scratch Joey fashion. That was sweet. If I had more emotions right now, I would cry. That was a really sweet card though. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, you guys. I'm shocked he was able to put that many words on a card. And that's not a dig. I'm literally complimenting him. Normally he's just a man of extremely, extremely few words. A mute, some would say. A mutant. All right, the dogs are crying. So I am going to get on the road. We are right across the street from the beach so y'all can calm down. I just got an iced matcha latte. I actually ordered an ice and they gave me a hot. So they let me keep the hot and they made me a new ice. So I'm gonna be cracked out today. Mm. And I got a warmed up almond croissant. Look at that, look how gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. Mmm. Okay, let's go to the beach. All right, now, hey, 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 hey. Everybody walk nice, please. We're going to the beach, come on. So this is where we're going. If you guys live in the area, definitely check it out. So there are these little coastal beach access paths along the PCH. This beach is called Millionaire's Beach because it has some of the biggest homes, but all the houses are kind of like empty during the winter months, like November to, I'd say like, April, so you can kind of get away with having your pups here. Oh my God, they put a ramp in, look. They put a ramp in, guys, for you. And no one is ever here. So I let the dogs go off leash. How gorgeous it is. So if you guys know Malibu, that is the pier over there. Super, super cute, but a bit overrated. But in the winter, totally empty. I usually, I've never come here this late. Hey, Storm, stop it. Storm, clothesline. Will be. Wait. Okay, go play. Come on. Come on, let's go down this way. Let's go down this way. Storm, come. Stormy, come. Monty. Monty, come on. Good girl. Oh, look how happy they are. Get those birds. She hasn't been to the beach since before she was pregnant. She loves the beach. She loves to swim. I don't know if I'll let her swim this time, but I will definitely let them run for a solid hour. Monty! Come on, we're gonna play. Hi, puppers. Storm, come here. Storm is so fast. Come here. Stormy. They're happy. And so am I. Oh, they made some friends. Hi, right, cuties. <laughs> We've been walking for 45 minutes. Hey, 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 hey. Don't drink that. Come on, come on, come on. You guys want to see my dream house? I, every time I walk by this for years, I've been coming to this beach for years and years. This is my dream house. Let me show you. It's not these big ones. It's this sweet little beach cottage nestled in between these monstrosities. The wooden shingles, the windows, the doors. I know that's a real wood burning fireplace with brick. How gorgeous to wake up there every day. And nobody's even enjoying it right now. Give it to me. Is that fun, cuties? You guys want some water? I forgot I had a water bowl. Hey, Storm, stop being so. You want some water? Come on, you can have some water. It's okay. So I just got to the little shopping area called Malibu Creek and I stopped at Sephora, got my birthday gift, which was shit. They've been like really, really bad the past couple years. So I just got the points. They added like 250 points to my account, but I got a few things here for my, I'm having a little 
like a Christmas thing at my house for a few of my guy friends, so I'm making stockings. So I got them all these really amazing, so this is one of my favorite scents. I've shared it in the past. It's called Mason Louis Marie at number four. They just came out with the deodorant, it's $20, so I thought this would be a cute for all of them. And then I ended up getting this honey mask. It's a hydrating mask for dry, sensitive skin. It's called Like Butter. I've seen it like on TikTok. And then I got this new brow, sculpting brow pencil by Give, this by Gwen Stefani. It has a really cool blade on it. I'll show you real quick. So it kind of has a microblading blade. It looks like a scalpel. See that? Isn't that really cool? See that? So if we do it on my brow, but my brows are already kind of done. It just looks like supernatural, which is kind of cool. I actually don't even have anything in my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Freeze, which is incredible. It's so good, but I thought this would be nice to have in my car when I like forget. I got a jacket. This was 50% off from Marine Layer. This cute little navy like puffer, very East Coast vibes. And then I got some socks to also put into the stocking stuffers. These are my favorite socks from Barefoot Dreams. They're so soft and they're $15. These are a great little stocking. I think they're $15. And right now we're going to the Malibu Colony Company because they have the best candles ever. Yeah, this place is super cute. I've been coming here for years. When I first moved to LA, I actually worked at a surf shop here, taught surf lessons, sold surf clothing, a bunch of everything. The security guard looking at me scram. I'm trying to get better about vlogging in public, like not care what people are thinking, but it's still a little annoying when people stare like, hello, it's 2022, babes. It's just a camera. Anyways, I would come here all the time and pick up lunch for my boss. There weren't a lot of shops, but now there's like an Alfred Coffee, there's an Urban, there's a Whole Foods, there's a Barefoot Dreams, there's all these cute little shops, but nobody really knows about it except you guys. So come here, but don't tell anybody you're coming here. You know what I mean? Keep it our little secret. Hey guys, sorry, my camera ended up dying and I didn't want to vlog on my phone, but I had a really nice rest of the day, did a little shopping, got some lunch, went home, ran some errands. I saw the puppies again, and honestly, I kind of just like vibed and chilled. I didn't end up going to dinner or having birthday cake or anything, but honestly, like, I was really content with the day that I had. It was really nice to just chill out. It's been like a really, really busy month, past two months actually. And honestly, my birthday is postponed. So we're gonna celebrate my birthday again, March 16th, when I am in Peru climbing Machu Picchu, and it's gonna be fabulous. If any of you guys are spending your birthday or holidays alone, maybe you just don't have a lot of friends right now at the moment, just know that it's okay. It's okay for you to be alone. It's okay for you to spend time with yourself. The relationship you have with yourself is the most important relationship of all, because at the end of the day, you are what you have forever, you know? Do some things that make you happy, enjoy your day, eat food that you like, go to places that you like. I ended up going out on Saturday night with my friends. It wasn't a birthday celebration, but we just kind of like went out on the town, hung out a little bit, and it was really nice just to like be around people. I had so many people send me beautiful, beautiful flowers and just like little trinkets and gifts and cards. And I felt very like, felt like a lot of people like care about me, which is nice because sometimes I don't necessarily feel like that because all my friends are kind of like all over the world and the US. Anyways, this is going to be a very busy week. I have so much content going up. I have like videos going up every single day. So make sure to check back and definitely go check out my Instagram and TikTok. I have a bunch of stuff going up on there as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. Love you so much. Bye.